gentlemen, welcome back to another cast with Trent following with Tyson. And uh, let's take a look at something before we get into today's market analysis. I just wanted to talk to you guys about blind risk and calculated risk. Okay. This is a quote from Michael Covell because I got this from Covell's new um, another cast of of, of uh, Michael Covell's trend following. It was like episode six ten, I believe. Actually, it's right here. It was episode six fifty four, one of his latest episodes. Anyways, um, so let's take out. Let's get this quote from Michael Covell before we get into the trend following picture. This is straight off his last. Um, podcast like I said successful people understand that risk properly conceived is highly productive they appreciate that risk is an advantage to be used rather than a pitfall most basic traders conceive to avoid alright so what he's basically saying here is that all these new traders and all these other traders are so terrified of the word risk but successful traders understand that if your risk is properly conceived, it can be productible. Because what is risk? I mean, let's get to another quote from Cavell. I got another one here from episode 16. It says, blind risk and calculated risk. Blind risk is irrational hope. It's something for nothing. It's a bold twist of fate, and it's a pointless gamble. Okay? All right. So successful traders know that they need risk to be able to make anything because if you don't how about this for the person that doesn't risk anything in his life, if he doesn't make any risk to be anything, he's actually risking everything. So every time you take a trade, you're making a risk. Of course you're making a risk, but don't you have to make a risk? to become something in life don't you have to make a risk to to go anywhere you have to so all the traders that are so afraid of the word risk and the word of risk management if you don't grasp this risk you'll never be one of the wealthier traders in this market or you'll you'll never see things from a risk management aspect of how they sh truly should be perceived okay so i want you guys to get that um that quick detail on blind risk and calculated risk. So if you had took, if remember, remember what we said about the one percent. If you took twenty trades and you had and you won half the time with the one percent loss, okay, you lose ten dollars. And if you had a one to two risk to reward, you'd lose ten and you'd make twenty. All right, so. That's the only way you will ever get ahead in these markets. If you if you man if you if you manage that risk and let it play its edge out over the long side, okay? But only successful traders know that. Only successful people know that. That in order for you to in order for you to pre for you to be productive, you need to take risk properly calculated conceived risk all right risk that you can count on your fingers like we just did all right let's get into the trend smrt still on watch still burling against this level we gained a lot here since two dollars we picked up 60 cents almost so congratulations to traders there watch this for upside tomorrow with a stop below these last candles guys H E A R. We're talking about this last week around. Let's just get a let's get a picture of where we were looking at this at. We we're looking at this last week on the fourth, maybe even before that, around the around the very first of May at around six, and we've added almost a whole two dollars since then. So here we go with the calculated risk thing, you guys. We're we're give, I'm giving you guys like a stop, like a 10 cent stop, 15 cent stop every other day for the watch list. So if you add up all those 10 cent stops 
keep it in your 1% risk minus all the other points that we made. I mean, we've made points. Look at this two points on HEAR that we that we kind of debit to everybody. All right? This is this was more than this was more than two points. We talked about it at 6 and it got to 850 and it's still trending. And I, I watch this for upside tomorrow, you guys. HEAR with the stop below this. All right? But just watch it for upside tomorrow. See how it performs, see where the support level stops, see where the uh, support turns around at, and look for a long on HER, look for some upside on that tomorrow. NIHD, I'm long here. Um, this is a wonderful stock, you guys. Wonderful stock. Um, been long on it for a while now here. So I like this stock with everything it's doing. Watch this to break over three tomorrow, you guys. Not tomorrow, but watch this stock. Watch the breakout over three. Nicholas Darvis, guys. You know that. We did that on this show before. Watch the breakout over three. Okay? Watch the breakout over three on NIHD. Give it a tight stop. That legacy thing still working. We were looking at that, you guys. We were looking at that this week, remember? We were looking at it. A few weeks ago because it's part of that whole oil thing, but this thing is still consistent. Look at that. So I like this with a breakout over 650. Tomorrow or anytime soon, just watch this market for a breakout. Look at all this banging up here. All that banging up there. All right. All that banging up there. Watch for that on Legacy. Okay. Watch for the breakout on Legacy, RUN, and I'm going to give you guys TNDM next because we did some good trading on that. Here goes Sunrun. All right. Very consistent uptrend here. Very consistent on this RUN. Watch this soon, you guys, for a breakout over 950, 942 to get to start testing this area here all right so watch this for upside potential tomorrow are you in let me give you guys TNDM this was a beautiful trade of mine and I we've alerted this on the show you guys I'm sure you guys made some coins on it and if not keep following these trends so I alerted this um, like when we did the other ones about two or three weeks ago, and we're still keeping a tr keeping track of it because it's still in an uptrend. We're still gaining points there. Um, a lot of work done today in the stock. I, what I liked about it today, simply, was that it held all this up here, and then made a break. And I said, "Hey guys, watch this for a break above this," and boom, it broke out. So watch that for some continuation to the upside. It's a slow mover, but it's a darn good consistent mover. CLDX. All right. Hmm. Wonder how this stock got on my list. Hmm. This is horrible. I'm not. I'm, I'm not into this kind of stuff, guys. I don't know how that got on there. Scratch CLDX. Casey. And then IMTE. I took an entry on IMTE and I'll show you where. But let's look at Casey. Remember we were talking about this? We're just following up on it, guys. We alerted you guys. I uh, alerted you guys at 7 to break through this. We got the breakthrough. Got it up here towards 810. We're kind of wiggling in this area. Flagging. So watch it for some breakout. Watch it for some continuation, you guys. Watch it for some upside. Not a lot of volume. Not a lot of movement in it today. But this thing gets moving. And it's a beautiful stock. I traded that all the way from about three or four dollars up to where it's at now. Okay, IMTE. I took a long on this today. I just could not deny that rounding bottom it was holding up, and it turned out pretty well. So I took a long on this stock at about seven. Here it was. The reason why I like this stock because it's new. Look how new it is, guys. It's a newer stock. Opened up kind of low. A lot of people missed this run up. I know I missed it. Jesus, why did I miss that? This stock opened here at 422, ran clearly up to, wow, 
closed low, opened up again higher. Okay, came down, started to consolidate, and I said, you know what? I'm gonna buy this consolidation right now. The stock's trading at twenty, twenty-three, twenty-four dollars. But I bought this consolidation right here today, you guys. I said, I looked at all this, and I said, upside, upside. Okay, this is an uptrend. Newer stock, and I said, all right, let me take an entry here with the stop below. Never got stopped out. All right, took a took an entry around seventeen fifty, and uh, it's at it's trading at twenty three and some change. Never, I never, <clears throat> I never deny this rounding bottom. And if you had a better look at it, you can tell exactly what it's doing. But I, I never let this pattern sort of sort of get away from me without me taking a long on it. So it went up here, and then I just saw it sitting in here, and then it kind of started this little rounding thing up here and I said I'm getting long I had enough and, uh, and it gapped right up on me I bought it before I bought it in the middle of today's session and then uh, that thing looks wonderful um, I'll give you guys one other stock AMDA AMDA and then we'll get out of here I'll be back on Friday with some more uptrends we'll take a look at the stocks and see how everything's looking so I'll be back on Friday and we'll do some more knowledgeable stuff like that okay so watch this stock's really strong guys higher high you know whenever stock breaks out of like long-term consolidation I, I, I'd like to watch and see what's going on so you know this stock breaking out of consolidation here breaking out you know breaking out of all this slow time movement a lot of activity here comes down gaps up comes down find support gaps up again watch this thing for some pullback and some activity tomorrow possibly over three but it may give some pullback like you see here all right that's all I got for uh, trend following Tyson today and I will see 